Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love, episode 62 to 63. Due to Webster's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logos going up or else my channel will be get taken down. I had this issue in 2023 where literally I got four copyright strike I strikes and I almost lost my channel. So I'm taking it very seriously for the year of 2024. So please be understanding, please be kind and stop complaining about it. I will delete any comments that is complaining about the cat logo blur. But for anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all these uploads on my private channel where there's no censorship, no sort of cat logo blurs, especially for the parts where it has all the gory or horror reads. You guys know what I'm talking about or all the very explicit parts <laughs> that's not appropriate on YouTube. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. They're stuck in the elevator and I'm hoping they will get at least a little bit of a cuddle session. <clears throat> ba -boom, ba -boom. Oh, why are you staring at me like that? <clears throat> oh my gosh. Zue, are you okay? That's terrifying to be in a box that can drop you literally like what they're on the sixth floor. That's pretty high up. Imagine like something wrong and the whole thing just Oh gosh, that's no, that's a nightmare. <sighs> Produced by MR uh -uh. Murray. Are we going to fall? Don't worry. Since most elevators are usually towed by cables, there are safeguards in place on every floor. Even if a uh, an elevator falls, it rarely crashes all the way to the ground. And the probability of falling is 1 in 500,000. So it's almost 0%. Are you joking? So you're saying there is a chance. Do you know how painful it is when you fall? Uh, you're talking like someone who's fallen before. If you're that scared, why don't you use me as a, your shield? <laughs> He's being smooth. What? Then it'll hurt less, right? Oh. <laughs> How can you joke right now? <gasps> uh. oh. You're cuddling! Yes, I've been. Oh. <laughs> it's alright. It's quite hot in here without the AC in the early summer. The air is stale and muggy in a cramped scrap metal box closed off on all sides. Adding to the heat is Yunyuk's body heat. His big, firm, and warm body. Yunyuk is kind. He makes me feel safe. I know sitting on his lap won't keep me safe if we really did fall, but... When did I start to feel safe with Yunyuk? Before, he had always been unfamiliar and uncomfortable. He made me nervous. Uh, am I kind of a, uh, am I some kind of airbag or something? <laughs> Thanks. For what? Huh? What am I thanking you for? For, for being my airbag. <laughs> Was that your attempt to lighten the mood? No! I'm not joking. I really am thankful. Oh. Ba -bum, ba -bum.
Please. Uh. Are you all right in there? Yes, we're fine. Please open the door. Oh, he's blushing. Oh my gosh. Operation True Love, episode 62. Hey, where's everyone else? They're coming at six. Uh, 519, that's a long wait. What? I thought you said five. I, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you. Just the two of us. Hmm? Ugh, two of us. I really think you're a creep. So, where did he get that picture from? Me? Huh. I mean, why you keep telling me stuff? I said, I don't want to hear it. Like that Sue tore through her closet trying to figure out what to wear on her outing with Yunyu, stuff like that. Why? What do you mean why? It's weird. I feel weird about it, okay? <laughs> it's weird? How could it not be? Oh, so you think I'm some kind of creep psycho who really gets off on helping a girl pick out her outfit for a date with a guy she likes? Precisely. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not a creep or a psycho. I'm always honest when it comes to Sue. I truly want her to wear an outfit that looks good on her. Huh. You are a creep. Or do you have some kind of split personality or something? Now you're jumping over from Minu to Yunyuk? Uh, finally, someone calling her out on her BS. Someone who is like actively there who can tell her face, like face on like, you're weird. But, uh, let's see. Hey, it's different this time. I stole Minu because he was Sue's, but I liked Yunyuk before she did. So what? You're going to steal again this time? No. What is there to steal? Sue doesn't even have him yet. <sighs> Psycho. What if this person, this man here, is related related to Rai? They're kind of they look kind of similar, don't they? Oh, he didn't watch the video. He fell asleep. Oh, she flipped off the camera. I think she knows. Like, oh, it was his doing. Clap. That's not fair. <laughs> Rhyme is such a hateful bee, dude. Like, now she's gonna go after Yunyuk because Yunyuk is now with her sister, Sue. She is a psycho. I'm got I'm really glad someone did tell her, like, hey, you're a creepy psycho. But also, she's not waking up from it. It's not clicking in her head like a head like, hey, you are your psycho. You a psycho path. But hey, I don't know. She's gonna keep going till one day someone's gonna wake her up. I see all these stuff. It's like Iristry and I think of Innis uh Innisfree, uh the makeup skincare. I see Gucci, which is Gucci. Pink candy. Don't know pink candy. Is it the pink brand for outfits? No, maybe not. Raccoon dog. I'm trying to think, like, what is it trying to change its name to? Like, from <clears throat> Raccoon dog. <laughs> no. I, I said go. Wait. I said I'll take you home. Quick, get on. No, I. I mean, I actually like going home by myself. So just go. Uh. uh. What the? Phew. The bus sped off. Duh. Well, 
taxi? Huh? Never Meringue Entertainment. Meringue? OMG. So sorry. I'll take the next one. Oh, she's wandering off in the dark. It's kind of scary. Two women shoes, pair of heels there. His dad is mad. His dad goes around. Beep. Music playing in the house. Oh, his dad is playing the piano. Professor Teho Go, Department of Piano, Hankook University, has been selected as a judge for the Handel Music Competition six years in a row. Presence Candy Store Rock, Blue Zeppelin Presence. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Operation True Love, Episode 63. Where I am. Oh. Uh, the hell? She's she's ignoring my messages and calls. She won't see me even when I come over. Am I completely invisible to her now? Sue doesn't like you anymore. And neither do I. All this because of Sue? <laughs> Suhei's goodbye was cold, which was so unlike her. And Ryan's into Yunyuk. Shit, this fucking sucks. Ugh. So where are you uh where are you going during the break? Aren't beaches a perfect summer getaway? Valleys are better, okay? Okay, you can go by yourself. Come to the old art classroom after lunch later. Old art classroom? Why? I have to ask you something about yesterday. Mm -mm, got it. What about you, Sue? Me? I am Team Beach. Ding dong, ding dong. Yay, lunchtime! We'll end today's show with a requested song, Broadcasting Room. I'm your host, Ho Young Kim of the Broadcasting Department at G1 High School. Oh, on air. What are you guys doing? Oh, oh it's just Minu. Whew, shit. Why don't you just make sure the door was locked? If it was a teacher, we'll all be dead. Hey, Minu, lock the door behind you. Come. Do you say smoking's against school regulation on air? Shit, you guys are hypocrites. <laughs> smoking is against school regulations. Underage smoking would totally damage your lungs. Dumbass. <laughs> but why are you here? You never come. You've been coming around a lot these days. Yeah, this asshole always has been some, so I better to be. Nine times out of ten, he doesn't show up. What are you talking about? You're exaggerating. <laughs> hey, pass me the lighter. Here. Hey, what's wrong with your aim? You can't catch? Can't throw? <laughs> Shit, you're the idiot, Butterfinger. More like you're the idiot that can't throw. <gasps> no, is that live right now? They're about to get in trouble. Uh, what the? Oh, were you okay? What? When you went home yesterday, did anything happen? Did someone strange follow you or did you get into a minor accident or are you hurt anywhere? What about- What's this about? Why, did something happen to you? Huh? No, nothing. But I had bad dreams. Beep. All right. I saw Sue at CVG yesterday. She was with him again. <laughs> Fuck. Can we please not talk about her? 
came all the way here because I don't want to see her. Do I have to hear about her here too? What's with you? Don't take it out on me. Hey, haven't you noticed you jumped ship and now Minu's pissed off? Pissed off? That doesn't sound right. For that, he'll have to feel resentment, lingering feelings, or regret or something. So you think she didn't leave any of those for him? <laughs> oh, she left him with one thing. Embarrassment. Shit. What are you in date her? Assholes. Oh man. <laughs> Seriously though? Why did you date her? She was super clingy. Alright, in the beginning she... Oh. Poor Sue. Oh, she put music on. <laughs> She's blocking out all the noise so she doesn't hear the conversation anymore. Where? Doa. What the hell? What the uh, door? I just can't imagine like the pain. Like for me, as like I'm an em empath, okay, and I been there where I got bullied but not to this extent where like you know you hear that over the intercom but the pain Sue must be feeling to know that oh not only was her ex-boyfriend treated her badly but like his friends sees her as this clingy loser that he, their friend was dating like that's like a slap in the face to know how people laugh behind her back it's just, you know, it's really hurtful. High school kids are hurtful. I mean, adults are hurtful. But I, I hate bullies. I hate people who are like that. <sighs> Whatever. Like, to be, to date someone and call them an embarrassment. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a lot running through my brain that it just kind of, it just makes my heart ache for her. But I'm glad that Yunyu protected her, cover her ears, play something that can stop her from hearing the conversation. And now we're at, we stopped at a part where it's going to get really good. Doa stepped in. Uh, all right, guys, you guys enjoy the way I read this and my reaction to it. Feel free to subscribe if you guys want to support me for my work. Feel free to check out my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash chaotic. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!